That day I woke up at 5 a.m. as usual and made breakfast for everyone. Today I made fried eggs, grilled bacon, sautéed spinach, pancakes, and fruits. I tasted them, and they were pretty delicious. Then I served it to my mother-in-law and my husband who woke up and joined me at the table. My husband whispered, oh, and seemed to think it was perfectly delicious. My mother-in-law grinned for a moment and then said the unthinkable. What is this? It looks like dog food. What? I can't believe you serve this kind of food. My mother-in-law never learns her lesson and said such a thing again. And my husband, after taking a bite, goes, it tastes awful. I'd rather eat dog food than this, agreeing with my mother-in-law. I lost my patience and stood up silently. Without saying a word, I threw all the food into the trash. My name is Mia, a 32-year-old housewife. Last year, I married a man named Sam who worked at the same company. Newly wedded life with my husband was going pretty well. My husband said he wanted me to be a stay-at-home wife, so I quit my job and devoted myself to housework. I had always lived alone for a long time, so I knew how to cook. Since I became a housewife, I wanted to improve my cooking and tried many new recipes. Wow, this is really delicious. Really? I'm so glad. My husband would finish all the food I cooked, saying it was so delicious and I was so happy that I wanted to devote myself to cooking more. But our happy newlywed life came to a sudden end. My father-in-law passed away, and my mother-in-law was left all alone. My husband said, as the eldest son, I can't leave my mother alone. He asked me if we could move in with my mother-in-law. I did have a bad impression of my mother-in-law. Only I was worried that I would have to be attentive to her if I had to live with her. But my husband insisted, so I gave in and decided to move in with her. Thus began my life with my mother-in-law and husband at my parents-in-law's house. From a rather early stage, my mother-in-law started to treat me badly. My mother-in-law was always lazy and left all the housework to me. And yet, she would complain that I didn't know how to clean well and that I didn't pay attention to detail. Her most common complaint was about my cooking. One day, she would complain that the food was too salty, so I used less salt, and then she wouldn't eat it because it was too bland. After I finished cooking, she would complain that she was not in the mood for this dish today. The most annoying of all was about breakfast. Since my husband wanted to live with his mother-in-law at her house, he is now farther away from his work, and it takes him 1.5 hours to get there. That's why he leaves the house early in the morning. So I wanted to wake up around 6 a.m. to prepare something easy for breakfast, such as a simple toast and scrambled eggs or something like that. Then my mother-in-law got angry at me for serving such a light breakfast to the breadwinner of the family. She started telling me to cook a main dish, side dishes, and fruit. But even my husband said, Mom is right. I'm going to ask you to do it from tomorrow. With no one on my side, I had no choice but to comply with their unreasonable demands. But I was still in a good spirit at the time, so I was determined to make a perfect breakfast and surprise them. Then I started getting up at 5 a.m. to make breakfast. One day it was grilled salmon, sautéed spinach, eggs, and fruit. Another day, I made an omelet with vegetables such as tomatoes, onions, and peppers. I also grilled sausages and put them on the side. Anyway, I made a variety of dishes and kept adding new ones. However, despite all my efforts, my mother-in-law would always criticize my cooking, saying, what a horrible dish this is. My husband said it was delicious at first, but my mother-in-law repeatedly said it was horrible, so he began to talk like her. My husband has always been a bit of a mummy's boy, but when we moved in together, it got worse. Now he blindly listens to his mother's opinion and agrees to everything she says. They would criticize my cooking every day, saying it was bad, so I gradually lost confidence in my cooking. While it is tasty to me when I eat it by myself, but as they continue to tell me that my food tastes bad, I started to think that I had no talent in cooking. Then I received an invitation to a home party. It was a potluck, and I was asked to bring a dish to the party. So although I was a little worried, I cooked a dish and brought it to the party. My dish was a big hit with the guests, and everyone told me it was delicious. This convinced me that it was not my cooking skills, and it was my mother-in-law who was crazy. I later called my mother-in-law and my husband into the living room 
and told them to stop criticizing my cooking. I also explained that my friends gave me a lot of compliments for my cooking. My mother-in-law looked a little embarrassed. She said, what? You're a boring wife who doesn't even get a joke. What? A joke? Young people these days are so clueless. Don't be ridiculous. Do you know how much pain I'm going through? You're exaggerating. I don't know what kind of thought process you have. You have my husband also said, hey Mia, calm down. Don't embarrass my mother. What was it my fault? I wanted to have a proper discussion, but I felt like I was being played for a joke. All that remained was a gloomy feeling inside me. Then one day at breakfast, I ran out of patience. That day I woke up at 5 a.m. as usual and made breakfast for everyone. Today I made fried eggs, grilled bacon, salted spinach, pancakes, and fruits. I tasted them and they were pretty delicious. Then I served it to my mother-in-law and my husband who woke up and joined me at the table. My husband whispered, oh, and seemed to think it was perfectly delicious. My mother-in-law grinned for a moment and then said the unthinkable, what's this? It looks like dog food. What? I can't believe you served this kind of food. My mother-in-law never learns her lesson and said such a thing again. And my husband after taking a bite goes it should taste bad. I'd rather eat dog food than this. He felt sorry for my mother-in-law. I lost my patience and stood up silently. Without saying a word, I threw all the food into the trash. What the hell are you doing? You're going to waste the food? I'd rather throw it away than let you eat it. I wrapped my portion in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. What am I supposed to eat for breakfast? You can cook whatever you want. We don't have time for that. I don't care. You won't die if you skip one meal. My husband still wanted to say something, but it was time to go to work, so he gave up and left. Because of your selfishness, we have to go somewhere to eat breakfast. I ignored her and started cleaning the house. Then I wrapped up my breakfast and put it in the fridge for lunch, and it was delicious. Then, during my lunch break, I got a message from my husband. I had to buy a sandwich at a supermarket because you threw away my breakfast. Everyone at work said they felt sorry for me when I told them you didn't make me breakfast. I don't know what you're mad about, but tomorrow, you're gonna have to do better. Why are you acting like you're the victim and making me out to be the bad one? I was so angry that I immediately went to the city office to get the divorce papers. When my husband came home from work at night, I confronted him with the divorce papers. Both my husband and mother-in-law were surprised that I brought the divorce papers. Oh, come on. A divorce over something trivial as that. You're so mentally unstable. No matter how many times I've warned you about the wife beating, you just said it was a joke. I was going through a tough time, but you didn't stop at all. That's enough to be considered moral harassment. Anyway, I don't want to stay in this house anymore. So I'm going back to my parents' house. Let's talk about the rest through my lawyer. My mother-in-law and husband were stunned, but I ignored them and left. After that, my husband was reluctant to divorce me for a while, but thanks to the lawyer's help, the divorce was finalized. By the way, I secretly recorded their wife's beating every morning. Therefore, I was able to get alimony for moral harassment. Later, my husband called me in tears and asked me to come back. He told me that his mother's cooking was very bad, my husband has gotten used to my elaborate dishes, and he said that all of his mother's cooking was too salty, which made him sick that he couldn't even finish it. Furthermore, my mother-in-law has become so lazy because she left all the housework for me to do. Now, she cleans the house with a great deal of fatigue, but it's too late for me to come back now. My love for my ex-husband has long since cooled off. I also had planned some revenge for my ex-husband there are many of my ex-colleagues in his office. So I met with my former co-workers and told them the truth. I took pictures of the breakfast I cooked with a different menu every morning. I created an account and posted them on Instagram. I showed my Instagram to my ex-colleagues and explained to them that I had cooked such an elaborate breakfast every day. My ex-co-workers told everyone at work about it and word quickly spread throughout the company. Everyone gave my ex-husband a cold shoulder for harassing his wife, who was trying to be so good. He really deserves it. On the other hand, I was able to get a new job, and I'm now living comfortably on my own. 
I don't have to get up at 5 a.m. anymore, and I sleep well every day. Cooking has become one of my hobbies, so I'm going to keep up with my skills and add new recipes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video.